look at the Samsung NX Mini. It came out probably about, I don't know, a year ago or six months ago. I got it again used from Amazon. Good deal, couldn't resist it. That's why it's a pink color, nicely pink color. It's, uh, it, so far, it's been like my, my most favorite uh, Samsung NX line. I have the, uh, the, the NX Mini, I have the uh, NX the, the 300, and also have the NX1 and the uh, also NX3000 that I'm using for to video the, this camera. So I love it because it's just so uh, it's it's very portable. So we're gonna take a look at the uh, the usability, the menu, and also the uh, how how good it is uh, if <clears throat> the the image quality. And I have to point out I've been listening to the reviews of this NX Mini, and then the reviewers they were comparing it. Uh, pixel to pixel with the Sony RX, which is about seven hundred or eight hundred dollars uh, retail price. Well, this one I got it for like one third. Yeah, it's used. It's refer uh, it's like a uh, open box from Amazon uh, deal. Uh, you cannot beat it. I mean, for the price, and I'm, I'm sure the build quality of the Sony RX is much be uh, probably is better. But um, this works for me. Uh, pink color is fun color. You know, it's like a girly color, but hey, I don't I don't mind. So uh, let's take a look at this NX Mini, all right? All right, so here's the NX Mini over here on my left, and this is the NX300. Just want a very quick uh, comparison of the dimension so you get a, uh, get a feel of what it's, um, how portable it is or how small it is compared to the NX300. Yeah. So it looks like from the front. Yep. And I'm just gonna bring the uh, my smartphone here the Motorola X you can see how thin it is or how thick it is yeah. and this is the, uh, what it looks like from the front it's pretty small it's it's just the uh, the lens probably is a bit bulging but this is uh, already the smallest I think one of the smallest lens for the NX mini which is the uh, 9 millimeter uh, 3.5 uh, but this is using the uh, I think one inch uh, sensor yeah it's using the backlighted um, BSI CMOS here I'm not sure so it's gonna be uh, around like 16 millimeter uh, in a full frame um, world so this one is of course if you if you've been um, following the NX mini it's flippable this is one of the nice things, it's not just flip up to 90 degrees, but it's actually a selfie camera. That's the nice thing. Once you flip it, it's automatically turned on on its own. And it has the, uh, I think, um, automatic beauty face. Of course, about the Samsung NX Mini, it's also a touch screen. So you can just touch it. Here, you can see from here. It's a touch screen button. Yeah, it's just normal smile shot wing shot so you can wing in the camera basically and then the camera is supposed to know that you're winking hopefully or if you choose this choose to uh, the smile shot you can uh, smile at the camera and then the camera is supposed to know that you are smiling at the camera and then we'll take a picture of it um, this will work only on the camera mode it doesn't work on the video mode unfortunately so and then has this uh, beauty uh, retouching menu which I don't really like uh, I want the camera to uh, to record my face as faithfully as possible so you can turn that off I'm just showing you the menu over here so I'm uh, this is the aperture priority um, so there's a function button here too you can um, you can set the uh, the aperture and the uh, um, exposure compensation. This is the auto, um, the auto uh, ISO, and then you can set it up. You can just swipe it like this, right? It's pretty, pretty handy. I love the uh, the touchscreen features of this. As the all white white balance, you can set it up to. There's different function over here. Yeah, there's many many functions: daylight, cloudy, fluorescent. And so on so uh, and then there's this uh, touch picture wizard you can turn it off and on standard vivid portrait landscape forest retro cool 
it's pretty cool and then you can also custom uh customize your own uh based on your own preference and then this is the uh, i think the metering you can choose multi metering center weighted spot and so on so and then this is the uh, single for the um, autofocus mode single autofocus continuous and manual focus All right and then this is also the metering, the F area where you can select the autofocus or multi autofocus, which the camera will select it for you. All right, this is the uh, the face detection. Right now it's off. You can turn it normal, smile shot, and wing shot. Only for the camera mode. And this is for the drive. Whether you want it, when you uh, press that uh, camera, you want it to be just single shot, continuous. There's a burst. Uh, the burst rate I think is about uh, five or six uh, frames per second, yeah, which is pretty good. Oh, actually, it's shot more than ten photos per second, but I think it also depends on uh, what um, resolution uh, you choose. So it can shoot up to ten photos per second. That's pretty good. And then there's a timer here, a bracket, a white balance bracket, the picture wizard bracket, the depth bracket too. It's pretty cool. So you can set up the uh, what brackets you want like to use. Also, this one comes with the uh, the flash. There's a built-in flash. Yeah, there's a fill-in, fill-in red first curtain, second curtain, and so on. So I'm gonna flip this uh, camera right now. Go back like this. So when you turn it back like that, it automatically um, turn off the uh, the beauty face uh, system of this camera. Yeah, it's really, the build quality is amazing. This is like made from metal over here. And then there's a touch, uh, touch uh, the click when you want to shoot over here, the, the biggest button over here. This is the on, on and off button. There's a direct link button for the Wi-Fi. Yeah, this is for the, I think, additional um, uh, parts for additional uh, flash. If you want to put additional flash, it's over there. There is this um, uh, built-in flash over here. This one is the built-in flash, this one. So at the back here, you can see the button. There's a record button here, the small button. It's small, well, well, because the camera is kind of small, but at least has a dedicated button for record. As the, uh, the mode button, so um, over here, the mode. So it's unlike the, uh, the Samsung NX300 uh, here, yeah. Um, the the they replace basically they replace this physical over here is physical uh what do you call this a, a button here that you can turn around you know go through the ap ap aperture priority program mode uh, shutter mode and so on they replace it with the um, electronic basically electronic button so you just press this one like that and then you can choose you know aperture priority wi-fi manual shutter priority auto and so on yep so, um, and then this one is over here. It's the layout is all the same as the Samsung NX300 too, over here. Yeah. So here you have display and um, uh, exposure. I think this one is the uh, burst rate, the timer, and then the autofocus over here. And then this one is the uh, exposure compensation, I think. And it's the OK button. Well, at the bottom here, there is this play button here, play and delete. So it's the same as the Samsung NX300 too. So, um, of course, what's cool about this, this is a touch screen, right? So you can just choose a uh, touch it and then the menu will appear. So we go, we go through the menu. Um, before we go through the menu, I just want to show you the, uh, the physical layout again on the, on the side here, if you open it, yes, yes, the, the battery is over there. Um, the battery is over here. And then there's the uh, the charging uh, uh, f uh, port. There's a, I think the HDMI over here, charging port, and then the uh, micro SD card, which I don't really like because it's kind of flimsy. And I do not know about the build quality about this because um, it's kind of uh, flimsy to me. So if I open up close like this the whole time, probably one day it's gonna get broken. I'm not sure. Hopefully not. Yeah, but so far it's so good. And at the bottom here, there's a, a tripod. Yep. Generic. Of course, there's a lens. 
This one is the uh, the the LED lights for uh, um, if it's uh, kind of dark, and then this is a flash, the built-in flash. Uh, take note when you buy this one, it will come with the uh, uh, additional flash that you can uh, put over here on the port here the, at the top here. Um, flip it like this. It will uh, occupy the flash, uh, so the flash cannot pop up because um, you can see here. See if I flip it down. Yeah, see the part of the flash is being covered. So they assume if you do this probably during the descent, you wouldn't need flash. All right. So I don't know whether they assume that or this is just uh, not well thought of design because it's um, it's covering the the flash uh, port, and of course it's also um, uh, covering the uh, the the Wi-Fi button over here, and also a little bit of covering the re the on, turn off and off button over here. So probably I don't know the next design they can uh, put put it somewhere else. I'm not sure, or they can reposition this uh, this flippable screen, but. Um, that's a minor complaint for me. Um, the uh, the lens, it's amazing. The nine millimeter lens, I I choose the nine millimeter instead of the uh, the 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 more versatile versatile one, the more versatile one. Sorry, which is the nine to I think sixteen or something, because uh, this is a much a slimmer lens over here. Although there is no, I think, uh, optical image stabilization for this lens, but this is much more portable and the autofocus is pretty, pretty quick. You can see from here, it's pretty quick. Right. It just, it just uh, very uh, uh, autofocus uh, instantly. It doesn't hunt. Um, it's probably as fast, probably as the uh, the 16 millimeter OIS lens over here. Probably a bit slower, a tad slower, because this is much a much a bigger lens, and then they can put uh, you know additional circuitry over there. But it's much faster than the 30 millimeter lens over here. Uh, but of course, this has a, a nicer bokeh because it's f1.2, while this is only f3.5. And it's also much faster than the 16 millimeter lens too, the 2.4 that I'm using right now to record this. Uh, this is a much a faster lens in terms of the autofocus, all right? See how quickly it is once I press it, it's just uh, focus immediately. Okay, so now we go. just gonna go through uh, quickly to the menu. When I press the, uh, the menu button, you can press it from here or you can just touch it, right? So uh, it's basically it's a very simple menu. I think uh, Samsung has been learning from uh, their um, their uh, 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 smartphone division how to build a nice uh, user interface menu. So it shows here there's a auto share, photo size up to 20 megapixel. Yeah, you can uh, of course choose different sizes. The quality you can choose the different quality from super fine to fine, and then there's a raw also. I never use raw these days. The, the ISO you can set it. There's the minimum shutter speed you can set it up to. Yeah, to auto or you can set it up on your own manually. Um, and then as you go down, there's a white balance. There's a picture wizard. The one I kind of like, really like is normally I use a lot is the smart filter, and I use a lot. There's a this one the miniature. Uh, which is pretty cool, the miniature, because it's kind of um, have a shallow depth of field, the miniature. So that's really neat. Um, yeah, the F mode, F area, you can set up from here. So when you touch it, you can choose the movie size, which is uh, up to 1080p, right? Uh, but it's only, I think, 30 frames per second. Uh, the movie quality is only, uh, I think you can choose two normal or high quality and you can choose multi-motion and so on and, you know, fader on and off and the voice on and off. So there's a microphone inside built in. Unfortunately, there is no uh, microphone out, 
output here so you're gonna uh, put external microphone um, this one is just another menu for uh, customizing the ISO noise reduction um, bracket setting color space and so on uh, uh, it's kind of boring stuff for me uh, <laughs> sorry about that um, this is uh, customizing again the sound, the quick view, display adjust, auto display off, on, auto power, help guide display, language, you know, English or whatever language you want to, Francais, you vous voulez, ça va bien, et croissant. Um, let's see, the date and time, yep, the format, device information, right? So it's pretty cool, as always, Samsung. Here. So if you press the direct link, it will show you this menu. So it will show you the auto share, um, mobile link, remote viewfinder, group share, auto backup, and so on. And there's even an email here, SNS and cloud and Samsung link. Um, I wish they put uh, um, automatically uh, to YouTube. You can actually put choose the NSN and cloud here, okay, and then it will give you an, an interface of the uh, the screen, which is you can see Facebook, Flickr, Picasa, YouTube. But uh, for now, the YouTube uh, it's kind of bucky for me. At least it's not very straightforward, and I have to touch. I have to put the uh, my email address and my password, which is I think the same as your gmail account but when i tried it it doesn't uh it doesn't want to do it immediately uh or it 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 just doesn't want to uh, log in to me uh, i tried to do it probably like several times probably like six seven times and i got a notification on my smartphone here that uh there's a suspicious as uh um activity on my gmail account so google give me an uh, alert email and I think it's from Oregon or somewhere um, that uh, somebody or something is trying to uh, access my Gmail account uh, uh, from a, like a, from the th third party. So it, Gmail will give you a suspicious alert if you try to log in from from this camera, YouTube. And even that, I wasn't uh, successful. So. Uh, he, I think probably if you keep on trying it many times and then you'll be successful. But I think if you want to be successful, I think you also have to turn off that uh, Google automatically. When you sign up for the Google account, it will make the security setting kind of on. So every time there is a activity that somebody's trying to log in from a third party app and it will give you that uh, notification. So you have to turn that off first, probably. Uh, I already tried that, I think, but it still wasn't successful. And the YouTube here, if you want to upload directly, uh, is, if you already make a video, you cannot upload it 1080p. I think you can only upload up, up to like 480 times something or 640 times something, which is uh, kind of a bummer because, you know, why, why not? You want to upload the full resolution. Uh, I, I suspect it's probably because the, the chip inside here is kind of slow i don't know um i'm not sure about that is that uh, more the limitation of the hardware or the limitation of the software um but uh, my guess is probably is more on the software um because the hardware wise probably is you know that the chip over here uh, is is probably i don't understand why they cannot you know um it could be hardware i could be wrong so I don't know. They could uh, put like a second generation of a chip uh, over here that is slow. So, but uploading, I would guess uploading stuff doesn't really take a lot of uh, uh, CPU power. So my guess, my best intellectual guess would be is because of the software limitation. Uh, it could be also because they are afraid or they're concerned if you can upload 1080p, it will uh, consume a lot of battery or something like that. I don't know, but uh, it's 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 really uh, sad because you can upload only 10 uh, 4 480 
uh, times something or it's like a Fiji A resolution instead of the 1080p resolution. I haven't really tried the other uh, app over here, Facebook, Flickr and Picasa because I don't really use them uh, and the Dropbox too. Uh, I use the Google Drive so it will be nice also if you can upload there's an app here, Google Drive at least uh, because Google Drive is one of the most uh, uh, well-known uh, cloud service. Uh, that would be nice. Um, yeah, so I just you can of course after you take videos of or take uh, pictures, you can uh, swipe through. You just press the play button here. You can swipe to like a, a smartphone, like that. Yeah. All right. See, that's my son here. Although sometimes it's not. Um, it's okay the, the swapping sometimes it's not very responsive but it's it's pretty good it's pretty good yeah yeah that's amazing face <laughs> and then you can uh, once you uh, do that there is an option here to actually to share over here which is nice so you can click that and then you can share it again on Facebook Flickr Picasa Dropbox or you can uh, share it to your my mobile phone so uh, by pressing this mobile link here or group share um, but again there is no share probably but this is for the uh, photos let me see if I go to um, go to a video this is a video my son is wrestling if I share no there's no YouTube here so um, that's another um, software um, issues here. Yes, there's no YouTube. It would be nice if there's a YouTube here, and then you can just press it, and then share it, upload it instantly to YouTube, and um, yeah, and then uh, they they should give a warning probably uh, over here that you should uh, probably turn off your security measure in, in YouTube. So uh, when you got when you got a notification from YouTube, you don't get surprised by that. All right, so. Um, that's just my input uh, about the usability but otherwise this is um, it's just a nice to it's a joy to use this camera because it's small um, if you can see here from the side if I turn it on see that's that's already the how big the width of the camera if you compare with the uh, Mo Motorola X here yeah it's not that much um, well it's it's thicker right but if you turn it off, see that how uh, how slim it is, and how I mean the the image quality again, it's this one is comparable with the Sony RX. Yeah, just looking at the image quality because it has the uh, the I think the same sensor, one inch, and a back uh, BSI which is a back illuminated line. So the uh, for low light is pretty good. I already tried it. The ISO is until um, let me see here. I think it's until 25,000 or oh, until 12,800 but I should you know sometimes at 6,400 you can 6,500 I'll show it to you I don't know how well can you see it so this, so that's the picture already it's pretty good yeah it's pretty good let me see if I can adjust it to 12,000 Just take a picture. Let's play. All right. So that's twelve thousand. Um, let's see. Bring the display out here. Yeah, that's using ISO twelve thousand. It's amazing what you can uh, take a pictures and uh, image quality is pretty good for twelve thousand eight hundred. You know, uh, you can see. Um, I mean, you can still see the noise here. I don't know if you can see it from there. I can still hear the noise, but it, only if you want to, you know, to enlarge it. But for just for us, it's amazing what you can do is with a 12,800 ISO. It's very usable for me. So with that, I'll wrap up this review for this amazing Samsung NX Mini. Um, 
I think it has a very uh, niche uh, market. If you, I would strongly recommend it if you like to take a lot of selfie or uh, photos, and if you like to do like a uh, uh, a lot of uh, video uh, blogging, blogging, because he has a front face. You can flip it up 180 degrees. You can see it uh, your face uh, directly, and he has a touch screen. It's easy to 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 set up uh, your preferences. Uh, you don't have to look at the back of the, uh, the, the, the button just to set up the preferences, the, the menu or the settings. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite portable. You know, it's, it's almost as portable as the, uh, the camera, of course. Uh, the low light capability for it's amazing. Uh, again, for me, 12,800, it's, you can take a night shot with beautiful, you know, uh, still very usable. Unless if you want to do a, a pixel peeping, then it's a different story. But for my use, for me, it's amazing. I like also the the fact that it has the picture wizard. Especially, I like to play with the uh, um, um, the one with the uh, the the miniature because he has a shallow depth of field. It's kind of giving you the uh, the perspective of having a a, a, a much more expensive lens. Uh, which has uh, you know f like 1.4 or f 2.0 and so on. So um, and the build quality is uh, very good for this uh, uh, price point. Again, cam uh, Samsung I think has made a really good uh, camera. They deserve to uh, to be noticed more. I think uh, most people they still uh, doesn't see Samsung as a camera uh, company, but I think that's gonna change soon especially if they can leverage on their uh, smartphone uh, success um, this is this is this is like a combination of a cross between a smartphone and a camera for me and and uh, if they can make it more my my strongest recommendation is is they can get more usability instead of in terms of the the social networking uh, share, shareability features like the uh, you know you can upload directly to YouTube um, uh, with the 1080p, uh, and then uh, you can also uh, do uh, a sh um, a build uh, a different kind of app, not just Facebook, but also like a uh, upload probably to uh, another um, cloud service like the uh, the Google Google Drive. That would be just amazing. Um, with that. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any thoughts or concerns.